Hello and welcome to another video from me, Skull and Bones. Now as you may see from the title of this video, something interesting happened on the way to market today. I logged into Reddit as one of my videos recently on a new modded map was number three on the homepage. And I was getting a few comment alerts popping up on my phone. I thought I'll pop over on my lunch and have a quick look what everybody's talking about. Some good feedback on there. And lo and behold, I found out I'd been banned. This isn't the first time I've had a run-in with Reddit. Last year it all got a little bit messy when the wheat and bread, the moderators on there, decided to give somebody else in the community my personal messages where I grumbled about dyslexia and Blue Drake. I thought that was all in the past. New channel, new start. And I've been trying to provide interesting content for the community, such as highlighting the mods, few gameplay videos and I've actually been creating a new squad bible with new players coming in on version 10. So fair enough. I did what anybody else would do. I went straight onto the squad forums and I posted, you know, I've been banned again, why have wheat and bread got a personal issue with me, blah 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 blah. What surprised me after that was that I've now been banned from the squad forums as well. So this is really bizarre, a whole nine points because I said that Wheat and Bread were obviously on a power trip and they were taking this far too personal. So it turns out, and I want you just to sit back in your chair and get yourself comfy. Work this one out. I am a founder and a backer and I put down over a hundred pounds to support the game before it even came out on the Kickstarter. So I've been around for a very long time and the majority of the content of my videos is to help the community, community guides, tutorials, video gameplay, etc, etc. So I've done quite a lot, I feel. I'm not sticking my head up and saying, you know, it's the best content, but I try to create interesting content and I've got quite a few subscribers and followers who like m the majority of the stuff that I produce. Now, banning one of the backers and founders is utterly bizarre and the reason for that is they claim that me saying that wheat and bread were on a power trip and taking it personal this is going to have a negative effect on the forum and the community come on now let's be serious it's obviously personal they don't like the video content that i produce there could be no other thing for it because i recently gave up a full self-employed job and i went full time Never, never in a million years would I kick or ban somebody producing fairly good content, I feel, for posting two videos on Reddit. Just, just let that sink in. So I'm promoting their game on the official forums on Reddit. And because I posted two videos within 24 hours, I'm now banned on Reddit, and I'm banned on the official forum. I honestly cannot, for the life of me, work out the insanity behind that. Because every piece of content that is produced, every video link, every topic that you post on these forums, is actually promoting the game. And while I've created a new channel, I don't have that many subscribers at the minute. But you know, I've got nearly a thousand on one of them. That's a thousand people who've seen that new map and now are aware of it. It's, I find this absolutely very, very bizarre. I know I always joke about these admins, you know, none of them work. I always joke about them being Doctor Who Star Trek fans, and this is all they do, you know, student nerds. But, you know, seriously, I think many of them do take this way, way too far, and it's quite clear that this is very, very personal, which is very sad, really, because I always did enjoy creating squad content, and it's kind of like it's a difficult pill to swallow, especially when you're a founder and a backer, and I've done hundreds of videos, including, you know, some of the most popular videos. I've got, what, 30, 40,000 views on some of them. So the videos do work, and it's a shame that any opportunity they get to kick you and stomp you down, they will take it. So it's a very sad day indeed, and it's almost put, put the toxicity back into something that I wanted to get away from. And no matter what they say, banning somebody for putting two videos on Reddit 
is mind blowing. And if you look at many of the topics actually on the forum, I've been very constructive, giving feedback. I've even posted in the Bugs forum before I got banned. So this is a very sad day indeed. But what can you do? They have the power. They feel they've won. And whether this puts a, a stain on the future of me creating squad videos, I really don't know which way to go at the minute at all. They have their favourites. Hence the whole issue last year with giving my private private messages to somebody else to use publicly in a video, which, again, it was against Reddit rules. But hey ho, I left it, I walked away, and it just seems like that bad taste and a bad smell is following me again. So, be interesting to know what your thoughts are. I'm open to complete criticism. If you want to come on in and slag me off, that's perfectly fine. This is a public public area for public videos. I know who the guy is from the UK that downloads downvotes every single video of mine before they've even played five seconds. I know who that is now. That's his choice. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I certainly do enjoy creating the videos, and it's such a shame now that I can't share them with quite a large majority of the community who use the forum and Reddit. Anyway, I'm off to make a cup of Yorkshire tea. And that'll do for today. I want you to keep this video calm and mature so as we come and not this go off on a rant like I usually do. I'm trying to turn a new page, but it seems that the book is already closed. Thanks for watching. I'm in Skull and Bones.